Dinosaurs lived long, long ago, even before people lived on Earth. They ruled and roamed the land for millions of years. Some were small, others were big, and some were huge. Today there aren't any living dinosaurs. They died about 7 million years ago. When they died, sand and mud covered their bodies. Millions of years went by and the mud and sand turned into stone. The dinosaur bones became fossils. A fossil is the hardened remains or traces of plant or animal life in rock. About 200 years ago, the first dinosaur fossils were discovered. Paleontologists searched for more fossils. They dug in rocky ground and carefully chipped fossils out of stone. A paleontologist learns about ancient life for, by studying fossils. By piecing together fossil skeletons, Scientists learned what the creatures looked like. Some are huge. They named the creatures dinosaurs, which means terrible lizards. Paleontologists have also learned how dinosaurs lived by studying their remains. They have discovered that not all dinosaurs were terrible. Some were peaceful. Ankylosaurus was a plant eater. Spikes and plates were all over its body. Its tail was used for protection against meat-eating dinosaurs. Stegosaurus also ate plants and was much bigger. It used a spiked tail to swing at enemies and had big plates running down its back. Protoceratops and Triceratops ate plants too. They had big heads with shields to protect their necks from sharp teeth. They were about 20 feet long. Iguanodon stood on its strong back legs and used its spike thumbs for protection. Iguanodon used its many teeth to crush and chop plants. Onatosaurus used its duck bill to get water plants from swamp bottoms. It was about 14 feet tall and 35 feet long. One huge creature was Apatosaurus. It weighed as much as six elephants. Apatosaurus used its long neck to reach down underwater for plants. One of the very biggest of all dinosaurs was Brachiosaurus. It stood about 40 feet tall and was 80 feet long. Brachiosaurus liked eating water plants too. Some dinosaurs ate meat. Pterodon flew like a bird and had enormous wings. It flew low over the water and reached down with its long toothless beak to catch fish. Another fish eater was El Asmorsaurus. It lived in water and used its fins as oars. El Asmorsaurus had long, sharp teeth. Celerosaurus was a small dinosaur. It was able to run very fast to catch small animals and to get away from the bigger dinosaurs. Ornitholestes was small too. It was a swift hunter and ate any creature it could catch that was smaller than itself. Some dinosaurs were terrible. Allosaurus was very big and it had a huge mouthful of sharp teeth. Allosaurus even ate big dinosaurs like Apatosaurus. Trisinosaurus rex was the scariest of them all. It was a king of dinosaurs and was the most terrible animal that ever roamed the earth. Tyrannosaurus rex stood about 20 feet tall and had teeth 6 inches long. All dinosaurs, big and small, were terrified of Tyrannosaurus rex. Dinosaurs lived on earth for 140 million years. Paleontologists now know that millions of years ago something happened that killed these animals. One theory is that our planet became very hot and the dinosaurs died from the heat. A recent theory, theory is that a meteor hit the earth, throwing dust into the air. The sun couldn't shine through the dust to keep plant life alive, 
the planet became too cold for the dinosaurs to live. Paleontologists are always learning more about dinosaurs. There were amazing creatures, large and small. Dinosaur footprints. Millions of years ago, dinosaurs walked the earth. Sometimes they left footprints in soft mud. The mud hardened. Over millions of years, the mud footprints turned to fossils. Some are small, some are huge. The biggest fossil footprint that has been found is two and a half feet long. It was made by a patasaurus. They don't all look the same. Facts learned from footprints. Paleontologists can learn what kind of dinosaur made a footprint. They can figure out how big the dinosaur was. They learn which dinosaurs walked on their hind feet. When they find many of the same kind of tracks in one area, they know that these dinosaurs traveled in herds. If smaller tracks are found inside a herd, they know these dinosaurs protected their young. If they find a dinosaur footprint with webbed feet, they learn that it is possible that the area might have been near a body of water at one time, millions and millions of years ago. The End